General Vance, this sad sick story is not just about his conduct. The Ombudsman told the clerk, the minister, the Prime Minister's office, and collectively they turned a blind eye. Instead of being investigated, cha charged, and disciplined, the General was extended in his post and given a raise. Instead of removing the minister, the Prime Minister reappointed him to Cabinet and supported the cover-up. Why? Unbelievable. But Honourable Prime Minister. From the very beginning, we've been focused on ensuring that the Canadian Armed Forces' uh, work environment and culture is worthy of the women and men who choose to serve uh, the Armed Forces. We need to make sure uh, that we are continuing uh, to transform the culture, continuing to create supports and, uh, and resources for everyone who serves in the Armed Forces. No one should be uh, in a toxic work environment. No one should face harassment and intimidation, but particularly not people who are choosing to set their lives on the line for their country. The Honourable Member for South Surrey White Rock. Mr. Speaker, I wonder if the victims of General Vance would agree with the Prime Minister today. When the Ombudsman went to the former Defence Minister and told him that General Vance was engaged in sexual misconduct and harassment, the former Defence Minister showed the Ombudsman the door. Instead of launching an investigation, as he was obligated to do, the Minister told General Vance about his accusations and gave him a raise. How does this government expect survivors to feel comfortable coming forward with this track record of protecting a perpetrator who has abused his power? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Once again, as a government, we have demonstrated through our actions, through our support, through our investments, uh, the need to ensure safe working environments for everyone, including and especially people who choose to serve their country through Canadian Armed Forces. Uh, obviously, we fundamentally disagree with the characterizations uh, and the picture painted by the members opposite who are trying to score cheap political points on the fact that we need to all of us work together to transform for the better the culture of the armed forces and that's what we're doing order Canadians were horrified to see General Vance walk away without consequence after allegations of sexual misconduct and obstruction. Women in the armed forces continue to wait for a real culture change in the face of sexual misconduct and assault. And yet, even though the Liberals have promised action for seven years, the Minister has said they will wait again for yet another report. How many reports do they need? Instead of delaying action when the solutions are known, will the government implement the Deschamps report so women get action now? Yeah. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of National Defence. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Our government takes all allegations of misconduct seriously, and we are committed to taking strong action on any allegation that is brought forward, no matter the rank, no matter the position, Mr. Speaker. We are committed to supporting survivors, and that's why we've committed over $236 million through Budget 2021. Uh, to eliminate sexual misconduct and gender-based violence in the CAF. Uh, we've transferred misconduct cases to the civilian system, and we passed the Victim's Bill of Rights. And, Mr. Speaker, that is only the beginning. Thank you.